Well hi folks, today I'm just going to show you how I string my garlic up into these bunches like so. I won't show you this type because this is just this took about half an hour so I'll just show you how I make one of these. Basically that is just one of those with more more bulbs continued up so not a lot of difference at all. So we'll get on and show you how we do it. So what I'm going to use is I've got some string here, thick string which is a bit like rope and if I show you when you twist it it's actually made out of three three different strings or what else you can do is you can just get three pieces of string tie them in a knot at the bottom and you've got exactly the same effect because we're, we're going to use the two different gaps between the string to to uh, push the the stems through which will hold the the clump all together now all I'm going to do with this just to start it off is to tie a knot at the bottom like so to hold the first one on and I've just tied a little loop at the top just so I can hang it up when I'm done so I'll just tie it up first make sure it's in the right position before we get going and I'll show you how we do it as you can hear, probably hear the rain coming down now yeah so what I'm going to do like I said I'm going to clap these garlics that have dried out now I've left a big long, long piece of stem on just so I've got plenty to poke through and that's what holds them all together really bit of a false start there folks forgot my secateurs to chop the chop the stray bits off so I'll just show you how we start it off so the first one I'm just going to twist so I can get a gap between these two strings and I'm just going to push the stem all the way through so that the bulbs right up flush with the string and I'm just going to go under the neck with the string and then back through the other two pairs of strings like so which will cause enough friction for it not to fall out just pull that down nice and tightly so you can see there that's that's not going anywhere and I'm just going to trim a bit of this off leave about an inch on nothing too magical about it and then again we're going to start again so using the other string going to push one through to the side of it and then as before just go under the neck like that around the neck and then back through the other pair of strings and again push it down and the friction will stop that from falling off and basically you just keep doing that and putting a bulb in each of the gaps so I'm going to put a bulb in in the gap now behind them so again just pushing it down pushing it through right up to the top bending the neck round underneath round and then back through the other string and do it more fingers and thumbs And just pull it down to tighten it all up snip the little bit off it sort of tells you where you want to put the next bulb so that's the lower part there so that's where the next bit wants to be so again just following on through around and then back through the next separate pair of strings and just pull down and then just continue that I'll just continue it to the top and then what you can do to sort of finish it off at the top is to put some of your smaller bulbs in that just sort of they'll just sit on the top as smaller bulbs and make it a bit neater so again couldn't be simpler neck comes out uh, neck comes out wrap it underneath open up your other two two strings and just push the push the bit through like that and just push it down again so it's exactly the same as what I do with the onions you could obviously be a bit neater with the with all these chuck these off a bit more tidy them up what well, you can probably do that afterwards to be honest Again, I'm just going to push that bulb to there. 
around with this around with the neck and then back through this one it's quite therapeutic really just keeping pushing it down so it's nice and tight and just trimming any bits off so how many have I got in that one I've got about 16 in that one so I think that's probably about the best number you don't want too many I mean if you put you could probably put a dozen in and give them as a present if you wanted nice little present for somebody a bunch of your homegrown garlic yeah let's have a look just trim that off so I'll just finish this this one off show you what it looks like like I said, it couldn't be easy to do, you just follow, you just do exactly the same thing with every one. Through, under, around, and then back through the other one. There we go. And we've, got a, we've got a gap here, so we'll stick another one on that one. I did plait them one year, but that was a bit fiddly. This is a lot easier. I find this a lot easier. Right, got about six to go. Big space there. Sit that one in there. Around we go and through the hole. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got another hole there, as you can see, so that's where the next one's going to go. Had a really good crop of garlic this year. No idea why, but it's just been one of those years for it. Right, so what I'll do now, I've got a nice bunch there. I'll just use some of these little, I'll show you them first. I've got a few little tiny ones there, which are a lot smaller, and they'll just sit in these little holes at the top just to finish it off nicely. Should make it a little bit neater. So that one will just sit in there and flatten the top off. can sit in that hole there Whoop, but don't drop it pull that down nice and tight I think that's about it. I'll put another two in there. Well, I can do anything. You can just keep going as many as you like. So anyway, folks, that's about it. That's another little bunch of garlic done. If you look at it from the bottom, you wouldn't know there was a piece of string on it. And obviously, like I said, you can trim these up. So there we go, folks. Couple of bulk, couple of bunches of garlic. See you later.